Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I hope this actually works and I can actually upload this. Uh, as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, I just, I'm working on uploading a video about the Washington Commanders and all of the caca that they have literally stepped into. Uh, with Jack Del Rio, how the state of Virginia is having second thoughts about, you know, flipping the bill um, for that stadium. They originally were talking about $1 billion, and that dropped down to 350 And now it's like, no, nah, we're not taking a vote on this. But, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter during the offseason. Whenever anyone, and I mean anyone, is available, you know what always happens. What do they say? The Dallas Cowboys should trade for him. And this is the silly season. Let's listen to my man Rich Eisen on this. Here we go. DK Metcalf. Come on over here. DK Metcalf. We're all, we're all looking like Diva. Right? Mm -hmm. spent the pre-draft looking at Debo and A.J. Brown. Mm-hmm. Right? Because Debo had asked for a trade. A.J. Brown was not happy either. He wanted a contract, and the Titans traded him on draft night. Mm -hmm. all, the quarter, all, the, all the quarterbacks that, mm -hmm. you know, want their money and yeah. you know, thinking it might get traded, or wide receivers mm -hmm. that wanted their money and think it might get traded. It was A.J. Brown who did it. He's now in Philadelphia. Philadelphia paid him. Part of the reason why they could pay him is because they had a contract um, available to give him for the amount of money he wanted mm -hmm. because they have a quarterback on his first rookie deal. That's because you have... Hey, okay. Brown and you're raising their hand saying, we'll take him in Philadelphia. The reason why they didn't pay him that in Tennessee is because Tennessee has a quarterback in Ryan Tannehill. Not on his mm -hmm. first rookie deal. But they did <laughs> draft a rookie anyway, and we'll keep our eyes on that. As mm -hmm. We're focused on DK Metcalf now. Because Debo is in camp holding in, apparently. He's not holding out. He's showing up. Mm -hmm. Can't get fined. I'm here. I'm just here so I won't get fined. He's got the Marshawn Lynch. Because all he's caring about right now is his chicken. He's taking care of his chicken. Mm -hmm. And he's showing up so he won't get fined. There you and go. We'll hit on that later on. Mm -hmm. But DK's not there. Not What's there. That? DK, not there. Now, he had foot surgery. Even if he was there... He couldn't practice, right? I mean, he's taking care We're of talking about practice now. Not a game. Not a game now. We're talking about practice. So why not show up? Knowing that you're not going to practice anyway, right? Mm -hmm. You kind of have that medical excuse. Why isn't he there? Great question. I don't know. Part of the reason why we're having Albert Breer on the program. And that just leads me to believe this. Because the, the, the Seahawks don't have a quarterback on a long-term big fat deal anymore they traded him away to denver didn't they they don't really uh, have a quarterback they guys have new ownership mm -hmm. yes they do and um it's the walton family and i'm not talking about john boy from the seven <laughs> thank you for laughing at that i've dated myself with that reference <laughs> okay yeah brockman has no idea what we're talking about so uh, where, what, what, you know, what's up with that? What, why are the Seahawks holding off on playing DK? Are they? Is there something up with that? Great mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. So, let's stir it up a little bit. Here. <laughs> let's stir, let's stir some shit up. DK go? Who's going to call John Schneider right now? Because the Cowboys call everybody. He cannot refuse. <laughs> I've got a team to do it. Now, look, we, DK Metcalf would improve the chances of any team winning, and that includes the Seahawks, by the way. So, but, I mean, if the Seahawks are raising this thing down to the ground, yeah, they're not going to do much winning. If the Seahawks are raising this thing go. down to the ground, and they swear that they're not, I mean, Pete's not sticking around, still coaching, you know, to raise this thing down to the ground. He's always competing, and they, they can... Mm -hmm. Maybe stick around and hang in there to see. Of course. Yep, 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 yep. Jimmy G and his.
his surgically repaired shoulder pops free. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't really help us for this mode of conversation. I In other words, for us to get paid. Say the bills, obviously. Right? We're not going to say really telling you why. So any other team in the AFC West, Ram. right? <laughs> the Rams, you know, we had less need on yesterday. Yeah, sure, there's room for one more. We'll figure it out. I'll kick over a rock. We're going to keep drafting young kids so we can afford the big contracts and afford the first and second round picks to be effed. Mm -hmm. Which team do you think? Of course. Use a big time physical wide receiver on the outside that would make a significant difference to their team. Especially since they took their for the last couple of years. <laughs> Look at my man. Hey, oh, 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 Mr. Carter. Oh, oh. Which team used to have a very physical presence outside the numbers? Going up top, and on occasion, he would catch it. Oh, it throw shade on death. Large steps because he was a big physical human being <laughs> and gain about 10 yards on the play after the catch as he's going down to the ground, which then would cause the ball to come loose. See, this is just, see, and back in the day, we just get trolled. That's currently on the book. <laughs> that was not a catch. Which team? You know, funny. Would that be? Who's been raising his hand in my peripheral vision oh, for the real last quick, 60 real quick. seconds? Before, before you, uh, when you got going, I thought you were talking about the team, what he's going to say, was playing that day. <laughs> um, Green Bay getting DK Metcalf for Aaron Rodgers would be spectacular i'm going to admit something when you first started that that's where i was going to say I the thought, Packers. I thought. <laughs> As you went on, i'm like oh wait a second <laughs> he's talking about the cowboys because i'm trying to be realistic here oh no no you're not totally out of character for that team i thought that's where you were going at yeah. first though especially because they actually the green bay packers do not do that sort of maneuvering with future picks and things of that nature, although they do have a quarterback now with a remaining and the Cowboys do a regular today about having that window being there in Green Bay, and that would be a nice maneuver to do. But I am talking about the Dallas Cowboys. Oh. How about this Cowboys? My top five storylines and things about the 2022 seasons that I have talked myself into quite a bit. Was it Dallas? Number three was it? Right? No, was it Dallas is taking a step back. Dallas has taken a step back, and Philadelphia, with the aforementioned A.J. Brown, could take it, could zoom right past him. And that they still have Taylor Hurts. Of the NFC East. Entirely possible. Dallas should be on the phone to Seattle right now. How huge would D.K. Metcalf be with the star on the side of his helmet? Well, he's going to be huge. Regardless Wherever he goes. Huge, I will repeat it. And I do appreciate your deflection <laughs> and I do appreciate his star ability to make himself a figure yeah wherever he goes but the star on the side of that helmet Thanksgiving days Monday nights Sunday nights DK Metcalf on the Dallas Cowboys is exactly the play that Jerry Jones would make exactly no, he the play that Jerry Jones is built to make exactly the play the Dallas Cowboys used to do before Jerry started getting people with a little bit more of a long-term uh, approach talking. This is exactly the sort of stuff. Joey Galloway. That's all I'm going to say. Joey Galloway. Jerry Jones gave up not one, but two number one picks to get Joey Galloway to come to the Dallas Cowboys, which literally was ass. Just didn't work. <laughs> and we know we have Catboy, okay? We got Catboy. They're not going to send picks and pay money, okay? Here's the thing. I would give up picks, or I'd give up money. But I'm not giving up picks and money. No, no. Cowboys are going to do this. This is the bitching out of the Dallas, or pimping out, excuse me, pimping out of the Dallas Cowboys. 
it would make sense for Aaron Rodgers. But no, that's not the play I want to have. It's the Cowboys. <sighs> well, let's hope that this recording is actually already ingested. If it's not, then uh, there's nothing I can do with it because it, it'll take hours for it to ingest. I hope it works. hope I can pop it up there. If not, I think it's time that I actually get a, another computer for the road. It's, it's time to upgrade. This bad boy I've had for about five years. It's time to start looking at another one. Whew. I'm Mark Holmes, and hope you're having a great night.